Everton were beaten 4 0 at Old Trafford yesterday by Manchester United in another disappointing game for the Toffees that are. Uh, Still only won two games of football this season so far. Sean Dutch Sean Dutch Sean Dyche was asked afterwards his thoughts on the game. Well, it's not difficult from my point of view. I thought 32 minutes before their first goal, I thought we were giving a good performance. I thought we were disrupting their play. I thought we were trying to be effective, um, asking questions of them and not too many against ourselves. But then I saw half a mistake. I was trying to block it. That's the way it goes. Unfortunately, it went in. And then a second mistake, and all of a sudden the whole feeling's changed, and that's why goals change games. It's you know I say it's not just the, the physical scoreline; it's the feel of a performance, and then they grow a little bit. And the third one's my biggest cry. I mean, I, I I don't know where we're going on that one. You know, I can assure you, there's nothing about that at half time. So I think we just got too involved in a moment, and then it's hard work from there. And you know, two 0 you you never know the way we're playing. We nick one, it changes the feeling back in our favour, but. 3-0, it's very difficult in, in the Premier League anywhere, uh, particularly here, new manager, the feel, all the rest of it. So uh, by then the game's gone and, and then it's damage limitation of looking after our players because we've got another big game. I mean, to be fair, the opening half an hour, Everton were, were OK. They did look like they might cause United some problems, but big issues the minute we can see the goal. Heads went down, just fell apart. And as for the, the third goal, seconds after the restart, I mean... Don't know what's gone on in the dressing room there, but that is uh, really an awful way to start the second half. Uh, the manager was then asked, was there any, was he seeing any evidence that the team could turn it around, their bad form around? This is what he had to say for that one. There's key moments. So there's the evidence. We're still finding key moments, but we've got to take them. I mean, they took theirs today from mistakes. They still found the last pass, the last finish. It's been a challenge here. I've spoken about it to you and others recently. I looked down the last five seasons, not a team that's been scoring loads of goals for a long time. It's how, how effective you can be. But you've got to keep the back door shut, quite obviously. And we've been doing that. But how you know how can you find other ways of scoring? And today, I thought we got in some really good areas. The final finish, the final moment, slide pass, a shot, you know, these sort of things. They're vital in a game. And we haven't got on the right side. Let's hope that that evidence comes uh, to fruition very quickly because we need to start winning games uh, as soon as possible. Obviously, the Wolves game is a must-win now. Uh, and then, finally, Sean Dice was asked uh, why there has been such a slump from last season. Everton obviously amassed 48 points last season without the points deductions, averaging way less than a point a game at the moment. He was asked why, or does he know, why there's been such a slump from last season. This is what the manager had to say. Well, it's been it's been tough all along. There's not been a slump. It's the, the 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 fine lines of finding consistency to win are there for most in the Premier League, not the superpowers. Getting on the right side of their margins, you know, and I, and I think we haven't done that as well. Um, I was expecting that there seems to be this mythical thing we spoke about this week, like the, the last you know last season of the old lady, and that is if everyone's become better players, they haven't. You know, there's still a reality of Everton Football Club. Bring more money in than you're spending. Try and work with the players you've got. Try and develop them. Sell a few when you can to bring some money in. That hasn't changed. And we don't know whether it will. We've got a possibly new owners coming in. It might well change. We'd have to wait and see. But that's been the, that's been the task I've been given, and it's still there now. So was I expected to do better than this? Yes. Myself, the, myself and the players, that is, as a collective... And I think we should have done better than that with the chances we created in games to win games, but we haven't <coughs> taken many chances. And when a bad day comes, if you haven't taken chances in the previous games, then it makes the noise just get bigger. That's football. That's life in football. I mean, it definitely has been a bit of a slump <laughs> since last season, but we, like I've just said, we need to start getting results and as soon as possible. Yeah, a little bit of, well, I don't know whether it's a bit of positive news, but sort of an indication today that the freaking group takeover of Everton is getting edging ever so close. Uh, the freaking group, I've started following Everton on Instagram and Everton Women. Listen, there's not that much news today. We're putting it in. But that would suggest that it is edging very, very close now. I'm expecting it by the end of next week that, yeah, that there's some sort of announcement that they are the new owners of Everton Football Club. So a little nod there to the freaking group. And finally, Arsenal are the latest club showing interest in Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin scored twice this season for the Toffees. is out of contract in June. He's refused to sign a new contract, the contract Everton had offered them. Uh, Arsenal according to reports that they monitoring them. Mikel Arteta trying to strengthen their squad 
and therefore they view apparently view Calvert Lewin as a good, strong addition up front, or certainly in the squad anyways, a squad player. Newcastle and Milan also monitoring Calvert Lewin. Of course, he can sign a pre contract with Milan in January if that's where he wanted to go. Uh, Arsenal and Newcastle would have to wait for his contract to expire on June the 30th. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And check out the Everton Wolves preview. That'll be out later. See you later.